Awesome. Welcome to the call, guys. Welcome to the call. I'm excited for you all to be here. My name is Sophia Lightborn. Um, I'm one of the leaders here in the Run the Play organization. And, you know, you are uh, a very special person, right? Because you've been invited to a call tonight that's going to help you utilize one of, I think, one of the most game-breaking, innovative times in history that we, we're experiencing right now with cryptocurrency, right? You're a part of I Am Academy. You're a part of what we, what we do, the education as far as investing. And guys, the cryptocurrency space is something where you don't want to leave money on the table. And I know a lot of y'all on the call, um, if you're new here, you probably been hearing about crypto. You understand that that's the future of money, but maybe you don't really understand how to really dive in and how to get started. So tonight's call um, is going to go about 40 minutes or so, but you're going to leave this call equipped with some steps and just a general idea of how to start building your portfolio. So there, there's two different things I want you to think about tonight. In trading, in the academy, we teach day trading, which is where you actually buy and sell different currencies or buy and sell different cryptocurrencies using you know, a broker. Like um, if you're trading HFX, that could be IQ Cent or Olymp Trade or Pocket Option, right? Or if you're trading regular Forex, you're probably using MetaTrader 4 or 5. Now that's how we're able to make money, whether the market's going up or down. We're able to just speculate on the direction of the market and be able to get in trade ideas and be able to make money. That's one thing. There's a, another side or flip side to trading and investing that I'm going to talk about tonight, which is more portfolio building. Okay. This is where you buy actual assets. Um, tonight, we're talking about cryptocurrency and you're trying to buy it at a level where the price is low. You want to see the price go up and then you're going to be able to see returns on your investment. And I'm going to break this down and make this super simple for, for anyone tonight who this is your first time. You just like trying to figure this thing out. Um, I, I'm telling you, you're going to leave here at least feeling a little bit more confident in what we're doing. But tonight's class is not to replace going into the academy, guys, and learning this for yourself. OK, the academy is where the education is. You got to treat these trainings that we do um, as like afternoon classes or the tutor. Right. So I could be like the tutor who can help drive home some concepts. But tutoring does not replace going to school. OK, so I want you all to really understand that if you really want to maximize on what you're learning tonight, you've got to get in the academy. OK, you've got to get into the trainings. You've got to get on the go live sessions. That's where you're going to learn everything that I'm sharing with you guys tonight. I learned in the academy. My background is computer science. I did not learn none of this in school. OK, I didn't have any prior background to this. I learned everything in the academy. So that's just a testament to say that if I can learn it, you can learn it. I just was a student. So you got to be a student and dive into the information and learn this stuff. Because the great thing about learning here, it equates to dollars in your bank account. I tell people all the time in high school, you know, in middle school and college, you did well on a test. You just get an A or B, right? Or you pass the class. Here, you study, you get paid. So for me, that's worth it. So let's go ahead and dive right into it. All right. So there's a couple of things that you're going to need to start building your crypto portfolio. And I'm going to share my screen and pull up the little whiteboard so you can see my notes and we can talk. OK, so y'all could take some notes on this. There's a couple of things that you're going to need. You're going to need to find. OK, you're going to need to choose. And while we start to dive into different coins tonight, we're talking about main cap coins, which are coins that are listed on major exchanges. OK, so these are going to be the simple coins that are able that you're able to buy as you start to dive deeper into this education. There's going to be what we call mid cap and low cap coins that aren't as easy to buy. But once you learn how to do it, guys, it's a piece of cake. But tonight we're not going to go into, you know, buying smaller coins. We're going to talk about coins you can buy on major exchanges. So the first thing that you got to do to be able to start building your portfolio, guys, is you have to create an account. OK, create an account on a major exchange and I'm going to list some examples and you can choose and excuse my typos. OK, you can choose whichever one you want. So here are some exchanges that you can choose from. All right. Coinbase. It's a very popular one in the United States. OK, Coinbase. You just download the Coinbase app um, and you there's a verification process. Basically, just take a picture of your ID. Simple, simple steps to be able to get verified on these exchanges so that they know that you're a real person 
and you're not using someone else's credit card to buy these currencies, okay? So Coinbase is a major one uh, for the United States. There's also Binance. This is both international and US, okay? Um, we have, for all my folks who are international also, we have um, crypto.com. This is United States based as well. So all of these exchanges, guys, you pick which one you want. If you are in the United States, I'm gonna rec recommend, if you're new, if you're a new player in the game, just get a Coinbase account. Most of the major coins are gonna be found on Coinbase. If you're international on this call, Binance, Crypto.com, we've got Kraken. Um, we also have things like um, CEXIO. And you may just wanna write these down a screenshot, okay? Another thing to know, guys, no coin is, no exchange is better than the next. It's just preference. And also different coins are listed on different exchanges. So it's almost like if you wanted to buy a, a shirt and it was sold in different stores, you know, Nordstrom might carry it, Neiman Marcus might carry it, but maybe Macy's doesn't have it. Does it mean that the store is worse? No, it, it's just not carried in that store. That's the kind of way you got to think about the coins. They're listed on different exchanges and you just got to find out what exchange has it. And then you go there and buy it. And I'm going to show you how you find all that out. But if you're following me so far, guys, drop a seven in the chat. Okay. Oh my God. Who would telegram? I got to close it because it's making too much noise. Okay. <laughs> if, if that's me, if you guys are following me so far, let me see some sevens and make sure y'all with me. All right, cool. I see the sevens in the chat and I'm going super slow tonight, guys. So if you're on here and you know, all of this stuff, Remember, you were new too, okay? So I'm talking to my new, new folks. So I want people to be able to come on this call tonight and be able to get value, even if this is their first, first, first day here in the academy. So you've got to create an exchange, uh, an account on a major exchange, all right? That's the first thing. Now, the second thing, okay? Once you have an account on the exchange and you get verified, so I'll put that as step two, get verified on the exchange. Okay, verify just means they're going to ask you for some basic identity information and, and they're going to verify your account to allow you to purchase. Okay, once you get verified on the exchange, guys, the next thing, if you're set up, okay, the next thing you're going to do on these exchanges, they're going to ask you basically for like payment information. So you want to set up, you know, a payment method. Okay, you're going to set up a payment method. And I, I may log into my Coinbase and share my screen because I don't have much crypto there. And I'll, I'll give a bonus at the end of the, the call, okay? Set up a payment method. So your payment method can be a debit or credit card. It can be just an ACH, like electric, electronic transfer from your bank, okay? That's, and, and, and you can do wire transfers. If you're a big baller on here, are you going to be buying like $25,000 worth of crypto at a time? Wire transfer works, okay? But most people are going to be using a debit or credit card or... Coinbase allows you to actually log into your online banking from their site, and then you can just basically transfer money, okay? Here's th something to note for my, for my newbies. When you're on an exchange, guys, the exchange does not have access to your bank account. So you don't have to be really be worried, right, about the exchanges getting access. Like, because you linked your payment method, they could take all your money. No, it's just like any other payment, subscription payment on the internet. You actually have to initiate, okay, the transfer. So it's not something automatic. So don't be scared, all right? Don't be scared, guys. So you've got to set up your payment method. Once you've done all three of these things, guys, you are basically ready now to purchase crypto. Yay, celebrate, okay? Now, the question that comes after that is, what crypto do you buy? When do you buy? Like, what coin should I be getting? You know, how, how do I know when is a good time to get in? And how do I know when I get out? If you're on the call and that's a question you've asked yourself before, drop a nine in the chat. If you've asked yourself, well, what should I be buying? How do I know it's a good time? How do I know when to get in, right? Most people, when you're brand new, that's the, that's the question. Because you know you want to get involved in this space. You know you want to start investing, but you just don't know what to invest in and how to get started. And that's why you're a part of this academy, because the information is literally at your fingertips, okay? The educators provide us with actual projects. So here's a word I want you to write down. When we're talking about cryptocurrency, different coins, you're going to hear the educators, you're going to hear even myself in the Signals group, we're going to call it projects because every cryptocurrency 
has is basically a project. So what happens is the educators and you, as you get more educated in this space, you want to start doing research on different projects. And based on projects, you're going to know which ones you want to invest in based on what it's for, who the team is, who's heading the project. All of those things matter. But for right now, as a newbie, all you got to do is be able to follow instructions. Our educators, they research the projects and then they come to us and share with us which projects they think we should invest in. So let them do all the hard work for you, but you just got to be able to know how to purchase the coins once the projects are released. Okay. And I'm going to show you guys exactly how that looks. So let's go over here um, to a website. Before I even switch my screen, I want everyone to write this website down. This is going to change your life. Coingecko.com. Write that down. Coingecko.com. Coingecko.com, guys, is where you can research and get info on basically every crypto project. Okay? This is like your, your Google for, the, for crypto. All right? So let me show you guys what that looks like. All right? Let me share my screen over here. Boom. All right. So over here, I'm going to go to CoinGecko. So CoinGecko, guys, it looks like this. This base, if you can see, guys, there's over 10,000 cryptocurrencies in existence right now. Y'all didn't, didn't know that, huh? It ain't, it ain't Bitcoin ain't cryptocurrency, y'all. A lot of people think that Bitcoin is the only crypto. There's over 10,000 coins in existence right now. And they're all listed on this site. There's over 500 exchanges in existence right now. I just listed like five for you guys. So I want you to understand, as you start to learn more, you're going to have to go to different exchanges for different projects because they're all not listed the same place. But I want you all to understand that this is a, the cryptocurrency has over, is a $2 trillion market. It's over two trillion. Market cap means that this is how much money is in these investments, over $2 trillion, almost $3 trillion. So that's $2.7 trillion in crypto. So a lot of y'all on this call saying, man, people ain't investing in crypto. It's over tr two, almost $3 trillion in it. So people got some money in this space. And this is still brand new, okay? So I want y'all to understand that only about 6 or 7% of the world are investing in crypto. Everyone else is still oblivious in. I wonder if crypto is real. I wonder if this thing is, you know, going to a bubble. Guys, crypto, it's here. It's here to stay. You will have first movers advantage because you're getting involved now before the rest of the world catches on. Wealth is created when a small group of people get ahead of a trend before the rest of the world. You guys are ahead of the trend. And this is a market that's going to take over money. This is the evolution of money in front of our face. Okay? So I don't want you to have a mindset of, is this real? It is. Okay? This money is evolving in front of us. Think about it. Back in the day, they did, we didn't use cash. We didn't have paper money. It was gold, right? You would trade gold for like some weapons or gold for food. That was money. It evolved into paper money. Then paper money evolved into debit and credit cards. Now it starts to evolve into Cash App and Zelle and Venmo. Now it's evolving into cryptocurrency. If this is making sense to someone, drop a one in the chat. See, I want y'all to understand that this is the evolution of money. And we have the opportunity to be to, to, to really change our lives by being some of the first people to be involved in this space. And if you take it serious, over the next three to five years, y'all, your life going to be totally different. Totally different. There's so many people who are crypto millionaires and billionaires right now because five years ago, they decided to invest $1,000 in Bitcoin when it was five cents a coin. Now Bitcoin is 65 grand a coin. They're wealthy. Why? Because they got access to information and got ahead of a trend before everyone else. The great thing is we still early in the game. Okay. So coin gecko guys, look at this 24 hour volume. I'm just trying to show y'all how, how much, how this space is really taking off. Okay. So that's one, two, three, four, four commas is trillion, right? So one, two, three, this is billion over $142 billion came into cryptocurrency in the last 24 hours. $142 billion. And we out here thinking people broke. We out here people thinking people can't afford $235 to join our academy. When people are putting $142 billion in crypto in a day. Okay? Just, just letting y'all know. Okay? I want you to raise your level of awareness. 
But basically on this site, it lists all of the coins in existence, right? It tells you this, this list gives you the, co the, the, the list of coins, basically like your top coins based on market cap, based on how much money is in a specific coin. So Bitcoin is number one. Bitcoin has been number one for a long time because it's like the godfather of crypto. Bitcoin, okay, the price right now, as we speak, is $60,845 a coin, okay? There's over $34 billion that came into Bitcoin in the last 24 hours. $34 billion in 24 hours. It's over $1 trillion in Bitcoin market cap. Y'all hearing these numbers, right? <laughs> the same like no little 100,000. This is $1 trillion. Number two, second coin is Ethereum. Okay, Ethereum is the second coin by market cap. It's $4,100, $4,170 basically a coin right now. Over $18 billion came into Ethereum in the last 24 hours, and it has $492 billion market cap. So it's still a good ways away from market cap for Bitcoin, but here's what to note. Y'all notice in the last 24 hours, that ain't that much difference between how much money flowed into Bitcoin and how much flowed into Ethereum in the last day. So what I'm going to tell you all right now, as my new crypto gurus on this call, Ethereum, y'all, is set to outperform Bitcoin soon. So right now, while it's $4,100 a coin, and here, you, here I want you to understand, you don't have to buy a whole coin. You can invest in the coin. Your goal is to accumulate over time. But you want to start pumping some money in Ethereum, y'all. Ethereum is expected to be five figures by January or so. Next year, they expect it to eventually start to outperform Bitcoin. We, we won't go into why and all that tonight, but Ethereum is the golden child of crypto. So you want to start investing in Ethereum. So put that on your list. You want to get some Bitcoin in your portfolio. You want to get some Ethereum in your portfolio. All of these other coins here, guys, are all of the other coins that are actually moving and shaking um, in the last 24 hours. So these are like your top coins. This is where you come to see what coins are doing well. This is where you come to do your research. Now, when you find a coin, guys, that you want to buy, or let's just say an educator calls out a coin. Let's say Solana. This is a project here that I'm invested in. Write it down. Cardano, great coin. BNB, all of these, y'all, you want to get into, okay? Um, so let's just say we wanted to buy Solana, or you wanted to get, you were interested in Solana. You would come here and click on it, guys. Solana is $204 a coin, okay? It gives you the price, tells you the rank of the coin, the market cap how much money is in this coin. So this coin has about 61 billion in it, okay? About 3 billion came in in the last 24 hours, all right? But here's where what's important to you all. This tab right here that says markets, if you click it, it's gonna show you which exchanges you can purchase this coin on. So that's, if I, if I send out a trade idea in the, in the group and I say, hey guys, we're buying Solana, or here's an idea, purchase Solana. You want to come to CoinGecko, go to markets and look for your exchange and see where it's sold. So you can see it's sold on Binance. You can buy it on Binance. You can buy it on Coinbase that I mentioned, Kraken that I mentioned. You can buy it on FTX. Okay. You can buy it on um, VCC exchange, all of these. Now you got to look for which one you have. And if your exchange is listed, then you're like, okay, cool. It's on Coinbase. I could get it on Coinbase. Then you just go to Coinbase and buy it. Is this making sense to someone so far? All my folks on this call right now who are in the Bahamas, FTX is the new cryptocurrency company that just headquartered in the Bahamas uh, um, in October, about two weeks ago, okay? Young dude, 23-year-old billionaire, crypto billionaire, Sam Bankman-Fried, he actually invested in crypto in like 2012, and now he's a multi-billionaire. Um, and he just moved his company from Hong Kong to the Bahamas. So FTX is an exchange that you can actually buy crypto on. And I think because they've actually moved this company there, crypto restrictions are going to become a lot more relaxed because they got one of the biggest. This is the third fastest, fastest growing exchange in cryptocurrency. So that's going to change the game for you guys in the 242. So FTX, you might want to get an account there. Just so when things start to loosen up, I'm sure FTX gonna have all this, the, the pull because they're actually headquarters in Nassau, okay? So FTX, FTX is also based in, um, they have a US branch of the website guys, but it doesn't allow a lot of the coins to be bought because of regulations, it's an international exchange. So US folks, Coinbase is gonna be your, your go-to, Bahamas, Binance, you know, um, 
crypto.com FTX, all right? So we can come here and see the exchange. So now let me show y'all what this looks like. So I'm gonna go to Coinbase really quickly. Okay, if you got any questions up to this point, drop them in the chat for me while I pull this up, okay? Cool. So this is Coinbase, guys. I'm already logged in. I don't keep, I use something called Pro Coinbase and I'll show you that, guys, as a, as a, as a bonus in a second. But this is Coinbase. There's an app for your phone or you can bring it up on your desktop. It doesn't matter. For security reasons, guys, okay? For security reasons, and I'm not going into internet security and all of that tonight, but write this down in your notes. You want to create an account, an email account just for crypto, guys, okay? Let me, let me, let me share this with you because this is important. Just for crypto, you want to create an email account at protonmail.com, okay? This is a, a, an encrypted email because here's the thing. With crypto, guys, it's all digital currencies. It's all internet decentralized stuff. You don't want it. It's possible for your email and stuff to get hacked and then people get your passwords and they get your passwords, they got your crypto. And with crypto, guys, ain't no customer service to call, you know, for help. These things are, you know, that's the thing about these cryptocurrencies. It's decentralized. So there's no governing authority over this stuff. So you want to take as much precautions as possible with your crypto. We don't recommend using like your Gmail, okay? We don't recommend using, you know, your Hotmail, none of that, because that stuff can be hacked. So you want to create a Proton Mail account. So if you already have a Coinbase, don't trip. Trust me, if you only got like a couple hundred dollars in crypto, ain't no one trying to hack you, okay? <laughs> they trying to hack the people who got millions of dollars worth of crypto. So if you got your if you got your Coinbase, don't think like, oh my God, no. You can always go in Coinbase and just change the email address on file once you've created one. Okay. So all right. Cool. All right. So once you come into Coinbase, so create a crypto a proton mail. Um and we'll maybe do another class or I'll share a video or something on like crypto security, but Kurt Cobain in the DCX Academy has an amazing, his first video that he recommends everyone start with is his security. Another thing, and I don't want to scare you guys because I, I, I don't want y'all to get crazy, but as you get, as your portfolio starts to grow, you don't want to keep your, uh, like your Coinbase and stuff, your crypto on your cell phone either because phones, y'all, phones are hackable. These things are hackable. You go into the mall to public networks and people can hack into your phone, okay? So, when you start to have money and crypto on your phone and stuff, you don't want to keep it there. We're going to show you how to start to move it over to stuff like this. Hardware wallet, like a ledger. This is where you want to keep your crypto. Now, this is a more advanced conversation. I'm just giving you all a heads up. But this is a ledger. Okay, it looks like a little flash drive. This has my cryptocurrency on it. So it's not really on my phone. It's not really on my computer. This is how I access and make purchases, but the actual crypto is on this device. If someone comes and steals this device from me right now, it's useless to them because every device comes with what's called a series of words. It's a secret phrase. And once you have your secret phrase, guys, you've got to write it down, store it with your passport, store it in your safe. Don't store it in your email. Don't store it in your phone because if someone gets your Secret phrase, guys, on your ledger, they got your crypto, okay? So these are the things to be aware of. But for right now, y'all just starting, no one's trying to steal your little $50 worth of crypto right now, okay? Now, when we start to have portfolios in the hundreds of thousands and millions, then then we, then we you know, then trip. Don't trip right now, because I know some of y'all over there like, oh my God, I got to, you only got $30 of crypto. Ain't no one trying to come get that, right? So, all right. So over here on Coinbase, right? <laughs> so let's look over here on Coinbase. Let's see, can you guys see this? Let me make sure I'm sharing the right screen. Boom, 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 here we go. Okay, so this is Coinbase, okay? The app is gonna look pretty similar as far as the functions, um, but just because I'm doing this on my computer, I'm gonna show you the, comp the desktop version. So when you come to Coinbase, guys, and you already link, get verified, and you already, um, um, I ain't supposed to do this, I won't, because I ain't gonna get in trouble. But here, I could actually invite y'all to get a Coinbase account and I'll get $10 worth of crypto. And you'll get 10, but I won't do it, okay? I'm gonna be compliant. Um, 
but here we go, right? Once you get here now, this is your dashboard of what it looks like. It's going to list here all of the things that are available, all of the different coins that are listed on Coinbase, right? All you've got to do, guys, is this. All you have to do is this. So the asset screen, excuse me, is going to show you your assets, like what you own. So of course, right now, this shows I only got $12.00. Uh, 48 cents because I don't keep my crypto in Coinbase. So as you can see, I got like $12 in Stellar Lumens, like 25 cent, 27 cents in Compound because I've already sent them over to um, somewhere else, a different wallet. But assets is going to show your assets. Guys, this is a big deal. When you start buying crypto, you now have assets. Most of us, our whole life only had liabilities, right? Now, because you're investing, you're an investor, you got assets now. So this is where I'll show your assets. The trade screen is where you can actually purchase assets, okay? So let's just say you were on the call tonight and you wanted to buy Bitcoin. You can come right here. It's right here. Or let's say it wasn't the first thing on the list. You can just come in the search bar and search for it. Bit, you type Bitcoin, it's going to show it, okay? It shows you the price, 1.1 trillion. And let's say you wanted to buy this right now. You would just click buy and you just put how much you want to buy. So let's say you wanted to buy $100 worth, or you wanted to buy $10 worth. The great thing about crypto, guys, is you can buy whatever you can afford. Now, with some of the other exchanges, like um, the smaller exchanges like Binance, and they may have a minimum limit, but it's not like something crazy. They may say you got to buy $25 worth. But for the most part, you can put in what you want to buy. So let's just say I wanted to buy $10 worth of Bitcoin. I would put 10 Okay. I want it to be a one-time purchase. You could even set this up to make you a purchase every week or every twice a month. Like you could have recurring um, cryptocurrency buys if that's something you want to do. The, it's available. But let's just say I want to buy $10 worth of Bitcoin because I've already linked my bank account and has it here. I could click here, preview buy. And it's going to, for $10, I'm going to be able to get $9 worth and Coinbase is charging me 99 cents fee. Okay, I click buy now, boom, I would have the $10 worth of Bitcoin. Okay, and then you'll see that if you buy it and you go to assets, you're going to see Bitcoin show up here in your assets and it's going to show you how much you've got. Does this make sense? Are you guys following me up to this point? Pretty straightforward, right? Pretty straightforward. So guys, that's how you buy crypto. So let's just say I said, hey, Guys, we're looking to buy Shiba, okay? Shiba and new. Some of y'all on this call got Shiba, right? Y'all portfolio looking good with Shiba because we up like, up, up. But Shiba Inu, you'll just come here, search the list or just type it and find it. You come here, you click buy. It's for a fraction of a penny, like 0. 0.00004855. A lot of us got in this project when it was 00002. So that means that this has already doubled. So whatever, you, if you bought $50 worth, you got $100 in your account now. And I want to share that with you all to show you all how you make money in crypto too. But if you wanted to buy this, you just come here, go click buy. How much do you want to buy? It tells you I can buy up to 5,000 with my account. But if you want to buy more than that, you got to do like an ACHO wire transfer. You buy Shiba, boom, it would show up here in my assets. Okay. Does that make sense? Guys, that's as, that's as simple as it is. That's all you've got to do to start buying and building your portfolio. Okay, so to, earlier this morning, if you're in the groups, I sent out a coin that the educator sent out. It was called Tezos. So let's say we wanted to buy Tezos. The first thing I would do when that idea came out is I'm going to go to CoinGecko. I'm going to come over here to the search bar and type in the coin that was sent out. So Tezos, boom. I click on it. Okay, I see it's $6.83. I'm like, all right, this is a cheap coin. I, I could get some of this. I could actually have a couple of these because depending on how much you spent. But where do you sell? Where do they? Where can I get it? What do you come to? You click markets. It's going to list all the exchanges. I'm like, all right, cool. It's on Coinbase. It's on Binance. It's on Kraken. Boom. I got Coinbase. I can buy this. So what do I do? I go to Coinbase, come to the trade screen and type in Tezos. Here it is. $6.82. I want to buy it. I want $50 worth. Boom. Buy. Boom. You got it. Guys, it's that simple to buy crypto. Now we're gonna go down the line of how to buy the, 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 the smaller coins and how to be able to transfer these to like your, your ledger and stuff. But for right now, I just want you to know how to buy. 
Okay. And then now your portfolio is sitting pretty because it's going to show you your balance. And as, so let me show you how you make money with crypto. Okay. It's a little bit of math involved. The, these apps do the math for you, but I just want to make, want you to understand how it works. So here we go. Let me clear this. Good stuff. <clears throat> okay. So let's say, okay, let's use Bitcoin because that's the one everyone always wants to buy because that's the popular one. So Bitcoin right now, current price of Bitcoin right now is $60,792. Can y'all believe it? Y'all, last year, Bitcoin was three grand. <laughs> last year, it's 60 grand. That's 20, that's 20 times. That's 2,000% growth. What? Other asset do you have that's making you 2,000% growth in one year? None. That's why crypto is, where is that? Because the returns you're getting. Think about these old school methods of stocks and stuff. You're getting a little 2 3% a year and you're thinking you, your portfolio is busting. When people are getting 2,000% return in 12 months, it's, 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 it's no comparison, okay? So here's how you can kind of, calculate or the thought process around how money is made in crypto. So let's say right now, Bitcoin is worth 60,792 uh, a coin. And let's say right now you invest a hundred dollars in Bitcoin. Okay. So if you invest a hundred dollars in Bitcoin, clearly you're only getting like a fraction of a Bitcoin. Y'all follow me? Cause if you wanted to buy a whole Bitcoin, it would cost you 60,000. If you wanted half of a Bitcoin, it'll cost you 30,000. 30, uh, 30, so if you invested $100, you're getting like 0. 0.0000 something of a Bitcoin. Does that make sense? Okay. So here's what I want you to understand. Let's say tomorrow. Okay. Let's say tomorrow, Bitcoin is now... I'm just going to use easy numbers. This would not happen, but let's just say tomorrow Bitcoin was $100,000 a coin. Okay? You got to figure out what your investment would be. So here's how it works, guys. Whatever percentage of growth happens for Bitcoin is also going to happen for your investment. So let, let's just do the math. And like I say, the apps and stuff will do all of this for you. So you don't have to be there trying to figure this out. I just want to do this example with you all so like it makes sense to you. Okay, so let me do my math. So 6792 divided by 100,000, okay? That's basically 60% growth, okay? That's 61% growth. So from here to here, that's 61. Bitcoin grew 61% in 24 hours. Let's just say this happened in 24 hours, okay? Boom. So if Bitcoin grows 61% in 24 hours, your $100, your investment will also grow 61% in 24 hours. Y'all follow me? So what does that mean? That means that your $100, so what's 100 times 61%? So your $100 is now $161 because you would have, the, whatever proportion or percentage Bitcoin grows, your investment grows. So you just made, you would have made 61% on your hundred, which would have been 61 bucks. So now when you open your portfolio, you knew you bought a hundred yesterday and now you're looking at your Bitcoin and you got 161. It's because Bitcoin went up. So that's why people get excited when Bitcoin goes up because their money goes up. So think about it this way. Imagine if you had a thousand dollars in Bitcoin. Okay, let's say you had put $1,000 in and Bitcoin went up 61%. Your investment also goes up 61%. So that means that your 1,000 is now 1610. So you made $610 because that's 61% of 1,000. Is this making sense to anybody on the call? If it is, drop some sevens. Cool. So this is why people get excited. Imagine someone, okay, who invested a hundred thousand. Let's just like just talking big numbers because we we expecting to get to these levels, right? Imagine someone who invested a hundred thousand in Bitcoin, okay, 
and Bitcoin grew 61%. Their 100,000 also grew 61%. So that means that their 100,000 is now $161,000. Y'all see it? So the more you invest, as, as, the, uh, as uh, the, the, the asset grows, your money grows. The key is start somewhere. Because even if you only could invest $10 and you make six, right? Who cares? That's more money. That's growth. Your money is making you money. Y'all follow me? So that's how your, your investment works. So the goal over time is to keep accumulating. So if you put $100 in today, so my investing strategy, and I'm just going to be real with y'all because I ain't a baller yet. Every Friday, I invest at least $50 in crypto. If I got a good week and I make some extra money, then I might do a little more. Or if I'm really big on a project and I'm feeling good behind a project, maybe I'll do like 100, 150. But every week for sure, $50 going in some type of crypto. So over the weeks, $50, that ain't much. But guess what? Doing it consistently ended up with me having like some money in crypto. And then as Bitcoin went up, my money grew. I'm looking at my portfolio right now. And y'all like, I, I don't, I haven't invested like, a re I wish I had been investing way more. But in the last three months, my portfolio has grown 70%. 70% in 90 days. It's a couple thousand dollars. <laughs> like, I'm just keeping it real. That's three months. In the last week, 3%. Wait, let's see. In the last week, 3%. That might not sound impressive, but y'all, the banks don't give you 1% in a year. Right, what's 1% in a year and 70% in three months? Let's just look at the last 24 hours. The last 24 hours, the, the portfolio is up 1% in a day. That's the power of crypto, y'all. Now, what you got to know is write this down. Write this down. This is what's going to separate you from all of your friends who think they know about crypto and have no clue or who just following the hype on Facebook, right, or the news. Buy the fair, sell the greed. I'm going to make it make sense, but write that statement down. Buy the fair, sell the greed. So here's what that means. Whenever the markets, because the markets will fluctuate. Bitcoin is 60,000 a coin right now. In March, it, was, it had dropped down to 30,000. Everyone was freaking out, panicking. Oh my God, Bitcoin's going to crash. What emotion is that? Fair. You being educated, you're supposed to start buying Bitcoin because the rest of the world, they're thinking, oh my God, it's about to crash. They start selling it, but that's when you buy because you get to buy low. You get to buy it at a discount. So you better believe when Bitcoin dropped to 30 grand after hitting 60,000, it dropped down to 30. The whole world was, oh my God, Bitcoin is over. Lack of education. I, told, I called everybody in my family and I said, now is the time to get into Bitcoin. If you got some money, buy it. Told my mom, I say, now's the time to get some Bitcoin. Call my auntie, told my sister, now's the time to accumulate Bitcoin. They're like, but ain't it low? I said, this is when you buy. Now they already doubled their money in almost in less than six months. Because it, it dropped to 30,000, now it's at 60 grand. That means in the last six months from May to now, they've doubled. So if they put a thousand in, they got 2,000. In six months, why? Because of education to know that when the world is panicking, when the world is in fear, that's when you buy as an investor. And when everybody is greedy and trying to get in, that's when you sell. So right now that Bitcoin is at its all-time high, it's all over the news, it's all over Facebook, everyone's all of a sudden a crypto guru. All of these people who were saying crypto ain't real, now they want to jump on at the last minute. That's not when you buy, that's when you sell what you got and take profit. I'm not saying sell it all, but you secure some profits because the price is, y'all, I'm telling you, the market cycle, Bitcoin may go back down to 50,000 again. I ain't tripping because I know that that's the market cycle. It's going to push to 50 and then that thing will shoot up to 100K. But a lot of people, they're going to get in right now at 60,000 because they it's the hype. It's going to drop to 50. They're going to be like, oh my God, it's crashing. They're going to sell at a lower price, lose money. Then the thing will shoot up and then they're going to be like this. I don't get it. Lack of education, okay? So buy the fair, sell the greed. So whenever the market is panicking, whenever the news is making it seem chaotic, that's when you buy. Just accumulate, just be like, yep, 
this is what I'm doing. You accumulate when the prices are low. You want to get things at a discount. Why do y'all go to Walmart? Why do you go to Nordstrom Rack instead of the regular Nordstrom, right? Why do we go to Marshalls and like Ross and stuff, right? To get things at a discount. You don't want to pay, you don't want to pay for things at the highest price. You want it on sale. Apply that same concept here, okay, to crypto. You want to get coins when they're on sale. So when there's a dip in the market, that's when we get in. So that you can get in at the best price. So when it goes up, you can see more return on your investment. Okay? Last thing I'll show you. All. Yes, buy the fair, sell the greed. So when the rest of the world is greedy and trying to get in on the coattails of a project, that's not when you get in. So one of the biggest things that happened last week when Bitcoin broke its all-time high, um, everyone started hitting me up. I was like, should I buy Bitcoin now? And I'm like, no, why would you buy it now? It's at the highest it's ever been. It's going to go back down. Like you should have bought it three months ago. Now, not saying that if you don't have Bitcoin now, it's too late, but we have ideal times when you want to buy. But Bitcoin, y'all, I'm telling y'all, Bitcoin is going to go to hundred K, maybe even 200 K. Um, I just dropped something in one of the groups. I don't know if y'all know the reason Bitcoin dropped in May or March. I mean, in May was China banned it. Now China is about to reverse the ban. What you think will happen? That thing gonna go through the roof. So they're expecting it to hit 200K. So if you don't have Bitcoin now, buy some. Don't go put all your life savings in now. Buy something now. When the price gets lower, you buy more. The lower the price gets, that's when you accumulate more because you can get more for less money. And then when that thing shoots off, guys, something called dollar profit, dollar cost averaging. I'll go into that another, another day, get in the academy, but just buy the fair, sell the grid. Last final thing, and then we out here. I'm going to show you guys on a chart kind of what we're looking for or what the trade ideas show us so you can kind of understand why we're telling you to get in at certain times and what we're looking for and when you should be getting out of these ideas. I'm going to do my ultimate best to send stuff in the, in the Telegram and in the chats to keep you guys on top of things. Um, but you want to get educated for yourself so that you don't have to depend on me. Okay, so let me look at this. Can you guys see this right here? Y'all can see my, my trade interview screen, right? So I'm going to just go here. So this is SwipeCoin, one of the apps on the, on the, in the DCX Academy. And the educators send out trade ideas. So let's just look at this one for a second. Okay. Actually, I'm going to look at Tezos because that's the one I sent out this morning. So it sent out this idea that says Tezos. It's telling us, guys, check this out. This is based on Kurt Cobain doing his own research. He's saying that we're buying Tezos, okay? And he's saying that the ideal price you wanna buy, you wanna buy when price is around $7.20. And if it drops down lower to $6.13, that's when he say buy more, okay? So let's look at Tezos. Right now, price is at 683. So if you look at this idea, price is right between both of these. So this is the ideal time to go buy Tezos because it's in between our entry zone. Okay. So you could buy some now, but if you, let's say you buy $20 worth of Tezos now, and let's say next week, okay, you, you, you're checking out your, 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 your portfolio and Tezos is $6 flat or $6 and $6.10. You're not upset thinking you're losing money. You just know, okay, this is time for me to get $20 more. Maybe I should even get $40 more because I could double what I got. Is that making sense to someone? That's what these entry prices are. Now, he also tells us a stop loss. He says, if price comes down to $5 after you've already bought it, this is the time to cash it out, like get out of the project. And I'll show you guys how to do that. You just basically sell the asset. You're going to sell it at a loss, but you don't want it to keep going down to end up being $2 and you keep losing. Okay. So it's the same um, effect as like trading on a MetaTrader 4 stop loss. Stop me from losing. Okay. But honestly, guys, I don't think I've ever been in any of the exchange ideas the educator has sent out that has I had to swap out in the negative. Okay, so I want to show you all something else. So this is another this is another one. Let's see if this is a valid idea. This one here is for a coin that was called out October 12th. Okay, so sometimes they called out, but you got to look at current price and see if this is still something you can get into. So this is a coin called ICP. Okay, ICP. It's called Internet Computer. All right. We are buying at $42 and at $29. That's what the educator suggests. But look at this, y'all. The profit, take profit. This is where they say you take your profit out. 
When it gets to 80 bucks, take some of your profit out. Then if it goes up to $120, take profit. Y'all look at that though. Imagine if you get in at 30 bucks and that thing goes to 120, that's 4X, a 400% return on your money. So let's look at ICP and see where it's at right now. Okay, let's go to CoinGecko. You're gonna go to ICP. Right now it's at $47.01. So it told us to buy at 42 or 29. So it's at 47. So guess what? It's not in our entry price. So we don't wanna buy this right now. We wanna see this drop back down. If it comes back to around 42, then you know this is a good project to get into. Does that make sense? Anyone on the call uh, bought ICP when I called it out on October 12th, when I sent it out to the team? Because I know I bought it. I bought ICP. And I'll be honest with y'all. Like, I didn't buy a lot because I never heard of the project. But I bought ICP on the 12th um, at, at $42. Okay. And I only bought $25 worth because I was like, I never heard of this project. But anything the educators send out, I just buy, even if it's not a lot. I only bought $25, but look, but since then to now, so that's about two weeks, I'm up 8%. So I, I bought 20, 23, $25 worth, but I'm up $2.21. So it ain't nothing much, but guys, if you put $25 in your checking account two weeks later, they're not going to give you 8%. That's the perspective. Does that make sense? Y'all following me? Does this make sense to someone? So they tell us in the trade ideas when to get in, it tells you if, hey, if this thing drops down to about $24, get out, get out. But it also tells you where it's, they're expecting it to go. And if it gets to these levels, that's when you cash out. So like for Bitcoin, okay, and we'll close with this. For Bitcoin, y'all, I just want to show y'all something, man. I, I want to show y'all the power of information. Right now, Bitcoin is here, 60650 right? Y'all, just in... January, February, March, right? In March, Bitcoin was, Mar hold on, let's see, hold on, hold on. This is, the, this is the weekly, wait. In May, it had gone down to 29,500. Y'all, it was up here, so, right? May 10th, Bitcoin was, listen, let me show you what would buy the fair sell agreement. May 10th of this year, Bitcoin had gone all the way up to 58. It was at 58,500. The next day, the next week, I'm sorry, May 17th, it came all the way down to 29 grand. What do you think the most of the population are doing? It went from 58,000 to 28. They freaking out. Oh my God, I'm losing my money. Oh my God. They don't understand that the market fluctuates. Just because it's at 58 don't mean it's going to keep going to 100K. It's, got, it's waves in the market. But guess what happens? Because we're educated. Everyone out there is panicking. They trying to sell their Bitcoin because they think about to go to zero. So they bought at 58K. It dropped to 29. They sell. They lose because they lose that, that, that dip in their in, in percentage. So the same way percentage goes up, if it goes down, your money goes down too. So they get out because they're panicking. But people like us, we're like, Bitcoin is at 29K. I'm about to buy as much of it as I can. Accumulation. You buy the fair. And when people get, when it came up here last week to 66K, that's when all the, the hype, everyone greedy, they're like, oh my God, Bitcoin about to go to 100K. I, I want to get in. That's when you should be taking profit <laughs> because it's about, Bitcoin will go back down again. But guess what? While it's up here, take, if you, let's say you make 500, $1,000 on your Bitcoin, you take it out, it drops down. Guess what you do? You got an opportunity to use that same profit to go buy more at a cheaper price so you can make more money when it pushes up. Guys, this is going to change the way you think. This Just trust this. When the trade ideas come out and say, buy this for your portfolio, get something. I don't care if it's $10, $15. I think Anya is on here. Anya is someone who listens. Anya, I know I sent out like a coin, like Shiba Anu earlier this, this like a couple months ago, maybe like three months ago. She bought it. She only bought $30 worth. But Anya, how much is your Shiba worth right now? Because like a week ago, it was a she, her thirty dollars was one hundred and eighty, and Shiba is at an all time high. So I'm sure it's more. It's probably like two bucks now. Two twenty five. Thirty dollars, y'all, in ninety days, because she listened, not because she was special, not because she had some inside information, which she did, because the academy is it. But she just listened. She just knew how to buy the coin. She bought the coin. Just bought thirty dollars worth. Now she got two hundred and twenty five from a $30 investment. 
So guys, I just wanted to show y'all how to buy these coins, okay? So that when we start sending it out, you know what to do. You know to go to your coin base. You know how to search for it. Go buy what you could afford. And that's the rule of trading, y'all. Only put in what you're willing to, what you could lose. Not saying you will lose, but don't put your rent money in, okay? Don't put something you need for tomorrow in. Only what you could afford to lose because investing is risk involved. Based on the education and the expertise of the people we work with, we won't lose often, but we will lose sometimes. So you don't want it to be something that's going to make you stress. Okay, only trade what you could afford. So the great thing is just start where you are. Okay, I see Latrice says, should I transfer my money from the Cash App to my Exodus wallet? Cash App is pretty cool, but I would. I just... I mean, it depends on how much it is. I ain't gonna lie. If it's just a couple of bucks, you can leave it there because cash app is really easy to cash out. Like if you want to just cash it out, you can put, you can take your profits in your bank account. But me personally, if I buy Bitcoin on cash app, it's just to transfer it somewhere else for me to use it to do other things. I don't, the Bitcoin got up to 180. See, from a, how much investment, how much did you put in, Latrice? How much did you actually buy in Bitcoin? Is it difficult to transfer to a ledger? No, it's just, it's really easy. Okay, so look at that, y'all, Latrice. She put $100 in Bitcoin. Or she just bought it on Cash App. Bitcoin went up. Her money went up. So 100 is now 180 So what I would tell you to do, Latrice, take the $80, the profit, cash out from Cash App to your $80. So that's your profit, right? And then hold, put it in your bank account and then go, let's, let, let's diversify and put that $80 profit that Bitcoin made you into some other coins so it can make you some more money. But leave your initial investment there and let that continue to sit and grow. Okay, good stuff. And Lolita, no, it's not difficult at all to transfer um, to a ledger. It's really easy. The instructions, they got videos, like you follow, it's really easy. It's not hard at all. This thing is harder just based on our perspective that it's so new that we think it's difficult, but it really is. Can you confirm which banks in the Bahamas allow purchase capabilities to the exchange? I know Commonwealth does. I know Scotia does. Um, I know First Royal Bank doesn't. <laughs> so I know Commonwealth and Scotia for a fact. I know them two out of two. I know for a fact, allow it. Um, Anya, who else do you use? Which bank do you use? You use one of them, right? Yeah, I use Commonwealth. So I know Commonwealth and Scotia for a fact work. I know for a fact Royal and First Caribbean don't. Fidelity and Bank of the Bahamas and them, you got, I don't, I'm not sure, but we know Commonwealth and Scotia work. So what I would recommend guys, just for ease of use, I know with COVID and lack of staff and hours and stuff, but I would suggest start an account on one of them banks so you could buy crypto. But with FTX moving to the Bahamas, I'm sure Royal Bank soon be out anyway. So they just hate us. Um, but I'm sure the stipulations are going to get um, a little more lax for us to be able to buy cryptocurrency. Okay, cool. So guys, I appreciate y'all. Was this valuable? If y'all got value from this call, drop some eights in the chat. I just have to end the call. I think y'all got a lot tonight, uh, but we do have locker room at 10, so I got to get off here. But awesome. I see some eights. Um, I did record this. So I will make the recording available, um, but I want y'all to just don't be afraid to start, okay? Don't be afraid to start and just ask questions in the groups. If you get stuck, the best way for us to help you guys though is when you get stuck on a certain screen, just screenshot what you're seeing and then drop it. Because if you say, hey, can I help? Where you at? You know, send the screenshot so we can kind of know where you're at in the process and then we can help you from there. But I'm telling you, the goal is for all of us who are plugged in, you know, who are investing on ourselves to start investing in the things that we're actually learning. Don't just learn, 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 and don't do. You want to actually start to do this. And the great thing about this is you can do this and start where you're at. So $10, what I would recommend, and I would challenge, and this is what I'll close with. I'm going to challenge everyone on this call to pick something, a number that every week you're going to invest in crypto. It's almost like, you know how we're supposed to pay ourselves every week? What is going to be your investment budget every week? $10, $20, $50, $100. That depends on how much you make, right? But something that you can do consistently. So if it's $20 a week, $20 a week, every week. And you pick, you either, if new coins are sent out, you buy that. If not, you just keep investing in the, in the projects you like. 
for me personally, one of my goals is to accumulate five Ethereum coins. So think about it. That's $4,000 a coin right now. Y'all, last year, Ethereum was $350. Last year, $350. Now it's $4,000. I wish I had bought it last year, but I didn't. But it's not too late because Ethereum will go to $10,000 a coin. So my goal is to, uh, to accumulate five Ethereum coins. That's $20,000. I can't do 20 grand right now. But guess what? If I do $50, $100 every single week, as I make money out of the crypto, I put it in Ethereum, eventually I'm going to keep accumulating over and over and over again. All right. So that's the goal. You know, don't be afraid of crypto. Don't be scared. Get your account set up. Start taking the ideas. And if you get stuck, ask questions in the Telegram groups. That's what they're for. We don't just want to bombard you with dings all night. We're there to provide training and support to make sure you get everything you need. All right. So I appreciate y'all. Thanks for hopping on. Everyone on the call, if you want to hop on the locker room call with Mr. Owens um, starting right now, I would recommend run the play to 100K and I'll see y'all on that call. And I'll see y'all on the next training call. All right, y'all have a good night. Take care.